Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest Scorpion Catcher. There are no quest requirements, but you will need to have completed the mini quest of Alfred Grimhand's Bar Crawl. Skill requirements: 30 bond prayer. Items needed: a dusty key or have 70 or higher agility. If you have neither, you will need to have some food, armor, and weapon to kill a combat 40 in the middle of the quest to get the dusty key yourself. Also a anti-dragon fire shield, a anti-potion potion of at least one dose, one teleportation method to Taverly Dungeon, I will be using Felador, two teleports to Camelot, one teleport to Barbarian Village, I will be using Varak, one teleportation method to the Barbarian Agility Course, I will be using a game necklace charge and then lastly a teleportation method to the monastery near Edgeville. I will be using a glory charge for that. And then also some food to pass monsters up until combat 172. And because we don't need to kill anything during this quest, maybe some weight reducing armor and some stamina potions are helpful. Now, where to start this quest? Right here, just a little bit southeast of the Ranging Guild, northwest of the Legends Guild, south of Sears Village. Here are some magic trees. Enter that building and climb up the ladder. Then, on the second floor, go a bit southeast and climb up the second ladder to the third floor. Then, go to the western side and then climb to the fourth floor. And here should find a wizard Thormac. Talk to him. I select like the first option. What do you need assistance with? I select like the first option. So how would I go catching them? I select like the second option. Okay, I will do that. And he will give you a scorpion cage. Now we'll need to go to Sears Village to talk to any of the seers, so go back to the main floor. These seers will give you the location of the first scorpion. So exit the tower and then just simply run north and go to seers village. Alright, when arriving in Sears Village, they should find a couple of Sears. It doesn't matter which one you talk to, just talk to any of them. And then select the first option, I need to locate some scorpions. You will say that he will look into the mirror, you will get some console locks in your chat box. Then he will see a scorpion between some poisonous spiders and greater demons. This means you will need to go to the Taverly Dungeon. So teleport yourself to the Taverly Dungeon. I will be using a Felador teleport and then I'm going to go west. If you don't have 70 agility and you don't have a dusty key with you, you will need some food, armor and weapon. If you have one of those, be sure that you have a anti-dragon fire shield and a super anti-poison potion of at least one dose and maybe some stamina potions are helpful. Next, go to the Taverly Dungeon. Alright, here at the Taverly Dungeon, enter it. Here, you should find an obstacle pipe a little bit east of you. But if you go a little bit west, you will find a small room just west of the stairs. 
Here is the Carrick Scorpion. We will need to get this Scorpion. But to get to this little place, we will need to go either through the obstacle pipe or go through this uh, little gap in the wall here. But this requires 70 or 80 agility. If you don't have those agility levels, you will need to go straight. You will need to go north. Then just open the prison door. Spam clicking the prison door. And then just quickly go through. Open the gate. Just keep going east. I will put an annotation on the screen if you have 70 agility. And you can just simply skip this part. If you don't have the agility levels, just keep following me. Just keep going through the entire Taverly dungeon. Past some black knights and some black and some magic axes. Just keep going following the just keep following the dungeon. Past some poisonous scorpions and a chaos dwarf. Just keep going south. Keep going south, don't mind the bridge, just go to the hill giants. And then just simply go to the Black Knight's hideout. When you're there, go more south, enter the big room, and then when you've opened the two large doors, go east. Keep going east and you'll see two prisons. You will need to talk to one of the prisoners, but to be able to enter the prison, you will need to attack and kill the jailer. So do that, and you will get the prison key. Alright, when you've killed a jailer, you will drop a jail key. When you have this, go to the southern prison and use your jail key on the door. You will enter the prison and talk to Valrak. Then select the first option, is there anything good exploring here? Then say yes please. And he will give you a dusty key. If you want a second one, just talk to him again. Just select the same options. Yes, please, and we'll give you a second one. Alright, you may drop your jail key and open the door. And go back outside. Just keep going west and go back to the hill giants outside the uh, hideout of the Black Knights. Back at the hill giants, just keep going back to the poisonous scorpions and the chaos dwarfs. There you should find a little bridge across the lava. Cross that bridge west, and then follow the path north. Just keep going north until you find some lesser demons and a gate on your northwestern side. Uh, right here at the gate, use your dusty key on the gate. You will go through, then simply go further west, pass some baby blue dragons and some mothery dragons. Just pass all the dragons, then go south, just keep following this dungeon. Here at the black demons, just keep going straight, just keep going north. And you, should, and you have arrived to the little room where the uh, carrot spider is. To enter this room, you will need to search the alt wall on the northern side. But look out for the poisonous spiders. They are come at 64 and poisonous, so be sure to drink your anti-poison. When you've entered the room, just simply use your cage on the carrot scorpion. And this is one of the three already catched. Now we should simply teleport back to any of the Sears in Sears Village. And we will get the second and the third location of the third and the second scorpion. So when you're back in Sears Village, talk to any of the Sears.
and he will tell you the locations. We will now need to go to the barbarian village, so I will be using a teleportation method to Varak. And I'm going to run west to barbarian village. Now, if you want to reduce some weight, I suggest uh, banking your anti dragon fire shield because you don't need it anymore. Same as for your dusty keys. And then just simply run west to Barbarian Village. Alright, when you've arrived to Barbarian Village, enter the helmet shop, the northwestern one of the security dungeon, and here you should find Pexa. Talk to him. That's like the third option. I've heard that you have a small scorpion. And he says that he gave it as a surprise gift for his brother. He's located in the Barbarian Agility course. So use your teleportation methods and go to the Barbarian Agility Arena. I will be using a Game Necklace Charge to Barbarian Assault and I've pretty much already there. Go to the back of the Assault and enter the Barbarian Agility course. Then here in the northeastern corner you should find another door or gate with a chicken inside. Also inside is a carrot scorpion. Use your scorpion cage on the carrot scorpion and you've got your second one. Now we don't need to go back to the seer to get the third and last location because we already know the third one which is in a monastery near Edgeville. So I will be using a glory charge to teleport myself to Edgeville and go to the monastery. Alright, when you are at the two fountains inside of the monastery, enter the eastern wing and then go south. Climb up the eastern stairs. Above Langley will stop you. Just select that you want to join his order. And then he will allow you to go up the ladder. Inside, just open the door a little bit north and next to the monk ropes, you should find a carried scorpion. Use your cage on the scorpion and you've got the last one. Now just simply teleport to Camelot and return to Thormac to complete your quest. Alright, when you return to Thormac, just simply talk to him, skip through the dialogue and congratulations, you've completed Scorpion Catcher quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point and 6625 strength experience. This was my guide how to do Scorpion Catcher quest, hopefully it helped, subscribe, rate and comment, ok thanks bye.